Oh my gosh. Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be doing the electric atmosphere contract. So here is the route we're going to take. I'm going to turn the map just so it's a uh, normal orientation. So we're going to go up around out this way instead of going here and doing a 90. Follow the main road. This this isn't even really a road. You'll see when we get out there. And then we'll go, we have a gas truck here. Again, follow the main road all the way back up to our garage, which we have another gas truck here. And then we'll go through. I don't know if we'll need either. Well, we have 280, so we'll probably need this one for sure. And then that one, I don't know. But there's a, a gas station right once we go through on the other side. And uh, we'll definitely hit up that gas station. We might even need another gas truck. I'm um, trying to think. Because we have to go... We come in from the bottom left corner of the next map. And the area that we want to go to is all the way in the... It, it's it's in the middle, like just north of where we come in. We have to go all the way across the map on the bottom and then go north and cross the, uh, the bridges there and then go back to the west, um, basically back to the garage. All right, let's turn the uh, all-wheel drive on for a little bit here. Yeah, so this is the uh, the area that I was saying that isn't really a road. As you can see, it's just tons of mud. I think that truck is for a, a task or a contract. I remember moving it like a long time ago because I haven't played this uh, update since maybe... I'm not even sure, maybe October or something? So it's been like six months. Because in October, I think I switched... Or, no, I did, I did phase five. And then I was doing like phase two or something, so. No. I think I was even doing phase one. I think I went one, five, and then back to one, and then two, and then six, and back to two. But, anyways, yeah, you get the point. It's been a long time, so I think I actually have to bring that into the city or something, and I, I dropped it off there for some reason. This looks really bad in here. The part that I'm on looked a little more solid, but yeah, it's all ice, I guess. Try and pull ourselves along. We we have a watchtower up there, but our, our gas tanker is just... It's on those railroad tracks just off to our, our right here, but up on the road. So it's really not too far ahead of us. I just wanted to make sure that I wouldn't run out of fuel on this... Uh, um, contract. I always forget. I should also state that this one needs three sets of metal beams. Which I've already grabbed. I actually grabbed those m months ago as well because I didn't have to grab any. I saw that this was one of the contracts that I needed to do in this area and so I clicked on it and I was like, oh I need three metal beams and then I looked at the uh, corner and I was like, oh I guess I must have already delivered those. I do remember doing it now, but I didn't at the time when I first clicked on it. So that is already done. Here's our gas tanker. So we have a... Uh, let me switch trucks here at refuel. Um, there we go. We have the uh, International Paystar 5600 TS, and that one has a 2800 liter fuel tank, so... I'm not sure if that's the biggest, but I know it's, it's very big. It'd be cool if this thing could have a fuel tank. That would be a long fuel tank. Yeah, 
This main road isn't too bad. When we get into the other map, it gets it's pretty sketchy. I'll give you that. But yeah, all through this part, it's not terrible. As I say that, I flip it over. Alright, so... As you guys saw, we just flipped it over. I started to bring out the Dan, but then I was like, you know what? Honestly, I'll probably end up flipping that thing again once we cross the uh, cross into the next map. So I was like, screw it. I'm just gonna bring out the uh, the 6605R. I'm gonna drive there as quick as I can, get the thing flipped back over, and uh, yeah, put put the. Uh, oversized cargo back on there and hopefully we can get all the way through this without having to put it back on but wow oh never mind I was gonna say that went a lot easier than I thought it was gonna go so I'm gonna try to pull this it's not really working is it all right let's see if we can uh, there we go Nope. Come on. There we go. Alright. It's not in the best of spots. But it should work. Now I gotta go pick up the cargo. Throw that back on. And we're back on our way. That was actually one of the quickest flips that I've ever really had. Um, with a big... big vehicle like that. Oh yeah, it just sit right on my head. That works. Alright, here we go. Load it back up. Try and straighten it out a little bit. So hopefully, oh no. Hopefully it packs. No, don't keep rolling. There we go. Okay, uh, now we should be good to go. I was going to try and back up, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to keep rolling forward. Let's put it in low plus, get the uh, diff lock on. I want to go back to my left, but I think I'm going to go over this bump here. Whoa. Not quite what I want. It's pulling me a little too hard in that direction. All right. I think that was actually the worst part of uh, of this map that we have that we're on. It will get worse in the next map, but like I said, hopefully we don't flip it. Let's get it out a little plus. Back on our way. Looks like we're using around 20 uh, liters per minute. So that'll give us, what, 18 minutes at, at 360? Obviously we only had 340 or 320 now, so minus about two minutes. You can actually see my tracks. I drove straight through that pool coming here. I was going to park the gas tanker over here, but then I figured I know that bottom part of the map's really, really muddy. And, uh, ooh, that scared me for a second. I saw it at the last second. Ooh, this is kind of scary. I 
I don't even know what I was saying. I, I feel like I was about to lose my cargo, so I lost all track. Oh, that hole, yeah. I, I was going to park the gas tanker over there. And then I knew the bottom part of the map was really muddy, so I was like, no, I'll park it further down. I probably could have parked it there, but... Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm, I got really lucky there or what, but I thought I was done. Maybe I should slow down a little bit. I don't feel like I'm going all that quick, but... I just feel like the road's not, the road's not helping me out. Turn our lights on for a little while here. I don't really do much night driving, so maybe I'll, uh... Well, I should say I don't really do much night driving on YouTube. So maybe... I don't want to drive it at night, uh... All the way there. But maybe until the end of the, this map or something. We'll see. And I know it's not even night yet, but it's just so much harder to see um, for you guys. It's harder for me too, but it's it's almost not even worth watching if it's uh, just pitch black, you know. So it looks like we should have had uh, plenty of fuel because our garage is coming up. The road turns left and then it loops back around right and then our garage is there. We do have a big hole up here in just a little bit that I don't really like. And here it is. I usually just go straight for it because, uh, yeah, if you try and angle it, you just end up losing your cargo. And I lost my cargo anyways. Ah, oh, man. I was hoping maybe I could pack it. not quite on there. Let's see if that's good enough. Impossible to pack. All right. Trying to lift it up and turn it, and it's turning, but not much. There. That should be good, I think. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll refuel. And stop the engine, change the trucks, and let's go. Alright guys, put your guess in the comments. How many more times am I going to lose my cargo? I'm going to say once more. If you guys, uh, if you know the other map, 
then you'll you'll know the, the challenging part that I'm talking about. Actually, shoot. There might be two. By two I mean two challenging parts. There's that cliffside that's really, really really tight. I don't Yeah, I, sh I think I have to go past that to get there. Dang. Yeah, so we might lose it two more times, we'll see. Oh man. Without uh, chains, these tires are just sliding on these roads. You can probably see it a little bit. But the last like two turns I just slammed on the brakes because I was going way too fast. I do not like this part right here. But probably if I would complete the contract, I wouldn't have to worry about it. I'm assuming that's what that is. Am I really stuck? Seriously. Alright, so I attempted to, uh, oh seriously, I attempted to, to get up onto this rock and I got myself stuck, but in the process of getting myself stuck, I was able to get the uh, twin steer flipped back over because I winched onto that to get myself unstuck. It's kind of a win-win. Oh, shoot. There we go. Because, yeah, I got myself close enough. Uh, there we go. There we go. Come on, pack. There we go. I think I just said there we go like four times, but... Oh, come on. We're uh, stuck pretty good, but I think we're just about out. Oh man, that was close. What am I stuck on? Oh, okay. Well, that sucks. Oh, there we go. We're free. Oh, man. This mission's starting to kill me. I've lost my cargo three times and I'm not even out of the map. Well, all right, we're here on the next map now, and we're definitely going to stop and get gas because we probably need all the gas we can get. I expect us to actually run out. Okay, so guys, I just saw that you can actually cross across the river over here. I don't know how I never noticed that before, but this, I mean, we might flip it, but if we went the other way, we'd probably flip it for sure. So I'm not really worried about it. And uh, if we do flip it on this, this route, it's gonna be closer to our garage. But yeah, if we go down here, 
Oh, this is... This is not good. Down the river here. It looks like we can cross. It must be just out in front of us. I gotta be careful with these rocks, though. Okay, so, yeah. I think that's the point where we gotta cross right there. So what I'm trying to do is stay on this, like, cracked stuff, because you don't sink in this. So yeah, garage is just, just up there, I think. Alright, finally, after a very, very long struggle, we have made it across. And we're on to some solid ice here. And, uh, I think right about here, yep, there it is, I can see the power plant, or power place. We're going to need to go uphill. Actually, this, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So this side looks pretty good, but a lot of those rocks are, are non-movable rocks. They're solid. So we got to kind of work our way around I think there we go there we go that's the tree I wanted oh 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 got scared there for a sec oh my gosh I'll have no gas tank in a minute. I seriously am done to like 10. I am absolutely shocked that this is working as well as it is. I mean, I, I did get stuck in the ice pretty good. Oh, oh, we're bouncing. Yeah, we did get stuck in the ice pretty good, but, uh... The, the path is really tough. That the south, you know, following that around. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh wow, no way. All right, we finally got this, uh... All right, we finally got the cargo back on there. And we are almost, well, we're here now to deliver this. Finally, after losing our cargo four times, we have made it. 12,250 for that.